Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent sensing consultant. I'm here with my warm reviews of the Harvest 2024 collection. Warm through them, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite and go to my favorite this time. And then I have one other bar. I have the uh, Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise bar. I'm gonna give you my warm review on that as well. So my number five is Sparkling Spice Citrus. Not that I didn't like it, it's just number five out of all the other ones. So this is Sparkling Mandarin, Black Currant, Raw Sugar Cane, and Clove Bud. So this was nice. Really good, really pretty Mandarin scent. I did really enjoy this. Uh, I got mostly Mandarin and the Sugar Cane. I didn't get much Clove. I didn't get Clove on cold, and I really didn't get much Clove on warm. If it's in there, just a tiny, tiny, little minute minute bit of clove but to my nose i really didn't pick out any clove um black currant i maybe could get a little bit of black currant when i warmed it again not very much i say a little maybe more black currant than i did at the clove but mostly it's just the, the mandarin and the sugar cane really pretty mandarin it to me though i feel like it's it had a touch of a fall quality maybe because of that black currant that was in there the little bit that was in there that kind of made it suitable for it kind of acceptable to warm in fall but it this could also be like any time of the year even in the summer but it's not like totally summer either it's kind of for either it's just kind of pretty much an anytime scent really it might be good for like late summer into early fall yeah really nice um just not um something i would totally reach for for the fall but it's good. I did enjoy it. And it did, um, it was like a medium, probably, overall. I smelled it nicely. I had this going. I think I did all these in the, most of these in my master bedroom. So it did good. It lasted a few days. And when I say a few days, that's with my warmers turned off at night. Because we turn off our warmers in the bedroom at, at, oh, when we sleep at night. So two days minus the eight hours at the nighttime that they're turned off. Eight or nine hours, whatever. However long they're off. Then, let's see, number four is Peaks and Pines. And this is Dewy Greens, Lavender, and Cedarwood. So again, this was nice too. These I liked all of them. Yeah, this was nice, really good. It's just the other three I liked better, so I did really like this though. If I hadn't liked the other three better, this maybe would have been up a little bit higher. Because it was really nice. So it is just, it definitely is like a pine scent. But it's, it's one of those kind of a fall pine scents. It definitely, something about it leans fall. And I don't know if it's like the dewy greens and lavender. But having said that, it's got a dewy green in there. But it's not like, not like grass or anything. Or some of the other dewy greens that come off like fresh cut grass and things like that. It's not that type of a dewy green. It's more like a tree dewy green. Like trees. As far as, and more than like grass or anything. It yeah and then the lavender i don't there could be a little bit in there but it's not it's not again it's not like a, a typical lavender it's not no herbal lavender or anything like that it's no essential oil lavender there might be a touch of in there but it doesn't scream lavender and then the cedarwood i will say there probably is some cedarwood in there it's all blended in with that kind of pine even though there's no pine in the notes there's only pine in the title peaks and pines there's like a pine there's like a pine tree note in here which gives a little bit of that kind of a, a holiday christmas type of vibe but then the other notes in there make it kind of come off not really exactly christmas so it could be for fall i think you could still warm this for christmas as well it's not super christmasy though but it does have that pine um it actually might be a little more suitable for fall it was really nice though they tend to do one of these every fall, at least the last few years, they put, throw in a kind of a tree scent that's not full on Christmas, but yet it kind of is, but yet it's a little more suitable for fall. That is what this is, so I liked it. And this was also probably about a medium to a high medium on this one. And this one, I this is the only one that I, ever, all of them I warmed in the master bedroom except for this one. This one I actually warmed in the hallway bath, so I only did three cubes in the hallway bath for this one. And then number three, this was hard on the top three. I, 
the, I like these all. <laughs> so this was really hard to rank the top three. The number three is berry apple shortbread. And this is fresh baked berry, vanilla, lemon, and a pinch of clove. This one was really, really good. If you're a bakery lover, you're gonna like this. It's so good, such a good bakery scent. Uh, on cold, I got kind of like lemon, a lemon bakery scent with like some berry, and that's pretty much what I got on warm too. But I will say on warm, I, more that berry came out. It was more lemon on cold, but when I warmed it, it wasn't as much lemon. I say more berry came out. It wasn't just exactly like a lemon bakery scent. Definitely the berry was in there. No apple though, it says berry apple shortbread even though there's no apple in the scent notes, but it's in the title, but I didn't really smell apple in here. You know, now that I'm smelling it again in the, in the clam, I'm thinking maybe I could pick out a little bit of apple. Why am I getting apple all of a sudden now? Almost like a little bit of like a apple bakery. Why am I getting apple now? Because I did not on cold before or when I warmed it. That's weird. I don't know, but anyway, I loved it when I warmed it. I couldn't get apple. I just got the lemon and the berry. Uh, you definitely get that shortbread. I definitely got a bakery shortbread note in there. Pinch of clove. I didn't get any clove at all. Not at all on this one. Cold, warming, nothing. I'm not even sure why that's in there because I didn't get clove. I think I've heard some people say they do get clove, but I didn't get any clove at all. Not to my nose. If it is, it's way just a touch. But yeah, it's really good. Performed really well. Really good bakery scent. And this was really good. It was like a light, light medium to medium on this one. Lasted a few days. Did nice. And then number two is Cinnamon Woods. And this is Bartlett Pear, Cinnamon Bark, and Sugared Woods. Yeah, this was so nice. This was really good. I loved the mixture of the woods with the cinnamon. Oh, so good. I think I, it's not overly cinnamon-y, but you really get the woods, but you do get the touch of cinnamon. Uh, it's not necessarily red hot cinnamon, but it's not really bakery cinnamon either. Cinnamon bark, just like I said, cinnamon bark. Um, more kind of like a fall cinnamon a little bit. Cinnamon bark. And then the woods. God, it's such a good mixture. Bartlett pear. I don't know that I really got a lot of pear out of this. No, I mostly just got the, the woods and the cinnamon bark. Maybe there's a little bit of sugared woods. There could be a little bit of a sugariness in here. Has a little bit of a sweetness with that cinnamon and then the, the woods. Yeah, really nice. I, I just enjoyed this one so much. I love wood scents and I love spicy scents, so just I really like this one. This one, it was about it was a little medium to a little bit on the strong medium side on this one. Did good. I think all these kind of lasted uh, about the same amount of time, a couple of days. I kept them in the warms or so and they did pretty good there. I didn't have any that really I'd probably say maybe the uh, berry apple shortbread probably didn't last quite as long as some of those other ones did What bakeries tend to do that though. All right number one my favorite is apple spice season now, This is juicy apple harvest pumpkin touch of sparkling spices This was just oh, yeah, so good. This is just classic apple pumpkin with spices type of scent so in my I think it was my first sniffs. I pulled out my pumpkin apple candle from Bath and Body Works. It's very similar to that. And we also have cider mill from Scentsy, which before I thought cider mill was similar to pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works or apple pumpkin from Yankee Candle, which has got apple and pumpkin and spices, fall spices. But now when I went back and sniffed cider mill against my pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works, it's not quite the same. I feel like cider mill has a little bit more pumpkin than pumpkin apple does. And it has a little more pumpkin than this does. This is more this is more along the lines of the pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works than cider mill is. This is very close to that, except I think this has maybe just a little bit more spices than the pumpkin apple candle from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, I but I do get the apple. I get a little touch of pumpkin, more apple than pumpkin, but then I get those spices and I say it's just a a little bit more spicy than the pumpkin apple was the candle but it's pretty close if you like pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works apple pumpkin from Yankee Candle I think you like this that just gave me those classic 
fall vibes, and I'm a sucker for the classic fall scents. It's nothing too crazy unique because, I mean, those candles have been out for years and there's been other people that put out kind of like dupes of that kind of a scent. So it's nothing like groundbreakingly new, but it's just, it gave me all the classic fall feels. And I love those scents. I haven't had them for a while. Um, I have a candle, but I don't really burn candles much anymore. But yeah, it was really good. I loved it. It was perfect for fall. And I think it's a pretty, a crowd friendly one that most people would, I think, enjoy. Unless you just don't like apple, pumpkin, or any kind of spice. But it's really good. I liked it. And I would definitely get more of that. I'm looking forward to getting more of that. So yeah. That's my number one. And now I'm going to go over my warm review of Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise. So the notes on this are woodland breeze, fresh citrus, forest florals, lush and peaceful hillsides. Is what it said. This was really good. Yeah, really nice. This is this is different. I don't feel like we've had anything quite exactly like this. So this kind of gives me a little bit of vibes of almost all different kind of things. It's like, it's kind of green, but not full on green. Not necessarily fresh grass, but kind of green. It's kind of got a little bit of a kind of a tree note a little bit, but not full on trees. It's got a woodsiness in there too. There's a little bit of citrus kind of in there, but it's not overly citrusy. Uh, what else? Uh, forest florals. I don't know that I really got floral necessary. I definitely got forest, but it may be a touch of a light floral in there. Yeah, it's a touch cologne -y a little bit. It's just a mixture of all that, what I just said, but not like too much of either one of those. It, it, they're all blended really well together that make this really nice scent that I just really liked. I just... I just kept smelling this one. I went in there and I'm like, it smells so good, it's so good. And it performed really well. This one was a good strong medium for, I think this one went on almost three days. I think it could have went longer, but I took it out after like the third day. Yeah, really good. I just, I enjoy this. I, don't, I think it's pretty uh, unique on its own. Not anything that I can quite compare this to like spot on. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I would definitely get more of that. Probably wouldn't club it. But I would get more of that though, definitely. So that's my Shire Sunrise warm review and then the Harvest warm reviews. So um, yeah, the Harvest collection, definitely I liked all of them. I definitely want to get more of those. I'd recommend all of them. Um, they were all really good. So, all right, and these will be on sale. The uh, Shire Sunrise or the Rings is currently available now. And the Harvest collection comes out October 1st. I'm sorry. September 1st, not October, I'm jumping ahead of myself. September 1st, when the fall and winter catalog launches, it come, the Harvest Collection will be at the same time. So you can jump on our website, your consultant's website, and you can purchase the bag of five. There'll be five in this bag here. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.